I'm asked about my portable washing machine, if it will do real clothes, meaning jeans and towels. We're going to dirty up and wash some jeans. Talk about running this on solar. And we're going to wash those towels. Make sure you subscribe to get updates on this and all the videos on this channel. It's that big red button below this video. Let's get started. Okay, just so you can see, we have the back of the washer hooked up into this extension cord. And I just want to show you that it's going to the van and it's not hooked up into any kind of house system. Um, extra long cord there. But, oops, here we go. And on up in here directly to the inverter. Let me climb in and show you the inverter. Can I go all the way in here? Directly to the inverter here in the van. 1500 watt inverter, 100 amp hour battery. Just to recap here. All the way to the back. Okay, we're going to be washing these towels first. I use drops, which are these little pods. You can use any kind of low sudsing detergent. So if it's for a high energy washer or if it says low sudsing, you're good with that. These just come right in a box. I order them from Amazon. They come straight to me. I don't have to do a thing but open the mailbox. So there you go. It's real easy to use. Flop. There's not much that's automatic about this washer, so I'm be filling it up with a garden hose. I would be filling it up with a hose if I'm at a campground. Here it's legal just to let the water drain on the ground. If I'm camping and we get hookups, there's a sewer set up right next to our camping space and I'll let it drain straight into that sewer set up. But here, since it's legal and I don't have a sewer set up close, I'm just going to drain it on the ground. We're going to be washing the towels. I just ran some water in it just enough to dissolve the soap. I'm going to add the towel. Then I'm going to bring it on up. Uh-oh. Then I'm going to bring it on up to the, about two inches down from the top. So, towels in, in there, two washcloths, two bath towels, and I'll fill this on up. When you put the clothes in here, there are dials on top. Timer, standard. If you don't put this on standard, the other button's drain, the water's going to drain on out. Make sure standard is pushed. This is filled to just below the top of the inside of the washing machine, about that far down below. It's got the towels in it. I'm going to turn it on and let it go. It's on standard. Set the timer. I'm going to set it for 15. 15 is just a number on this thing. Don't pay any attention to the time. Don't even think about it as a time. The uh, 15 is equal to about a 10 minute wash on a regular washing machine. I'm just going to let this do its thing and I'll be back shortly. Okay, let's see where we are. This timer has finished. The towels are in here. Whoa, and there's suds everywhere. All right, now I'm going to turn it to drain. This lets all the water drain out of this side hose. Like that. This is gravity fed. I'm going to let it drain. I'm going to go get an iced tea and I'll be right back. This is drained. All the water's gone. I just checked. So we're going to spin these for the rinse cycle and to dry them. Now, this little piece 
I don't know what it's called, but it is a necessity, so don't lose it. Washcloth, towel. Because of the nature of the beast, I'm just going to put one washcloth and one towel in here. Put the little gizmo down. The towels are in here. I'm going to put the water hose right here. There are water inlets on both sides. I'm going to turn on the water. I'm going to lose a little bit of water with this particular hose. It doesn't fit on perfectly, but it's on there. And what this does is it adds water to the spin cycle of the washing machine. This will also dry, So, but for right now, let's rinse. I usually put this on about four. So we're going to let it run the water. Again, these numbers are just as a guide. I don't know why they're on here, okay? So I'm going to let it do this and be right back. All right, let's see where this is. This is almost done. It's almost at the zero. But see, this towel, these are plenty, plenty wet. I don't know if you can see this but it's wet so I'm going to put it back in here without the water and I'm just going to let it spin that's going to get most of the water out so we've washed it I've rinsed it in here and now it's spinning so again I'll be right back okay this has finished now it's just a matter of taking the towels out they won't be fully dry we are going to need to hang them up but I wish you could feel this. Now, if you go to my other video that I did about how to do all this, you'll see a before and after weight comparison. I'm going to link that in the little white dot up in one of these corners. Okay, now it's time for me to come to this side and load the towel over. The towel and the washcloth. Close. Put this part on it. Put that part on. Close. Latch. Close. Let me get the water. And again, spin. Now it takes it a few rotations to get in balance, so don't panic. If you hear a thunk, thunk, thunk like in a regular washing machine, just come back and put it in balance and start spinning again. It's stopping right now. It has rinsed the soap out of this. I don't see any soap. So now, this time I'm going to let it spin again, and this time it's spin drying, and it's just going to get it's just going to get the water out. There you go. Because it's gravity, you always want to have the washing machine higher than the drain. But you can see that it's going to run towels just fine. Let me check on this. Ah, oh, it's finishing now. Great timing. This will stop spinning anytime you open the spinner lid. You, and you only need this for the drying part. Oops. These are a lot easier to get out and move around now that they're dr almost dry. have these jeans and I picked pick the ones that I have that's got the tear in them just so they'll be distinguishable. So what am I doing with this garden trowel? I am putting some dirt on my pants because it came from right here. 
Now, these are not going to be super dirty, but they'll give you they'll give you an idea. Phew. Let me dump all this dirt back. So, there they are. Dirt and everything. You see the dirt. You see the hole. Now, let's go put these in the washer. Let me get the drops. Okay, put that in there. Close it, put it on standard. Put some water in there to dissolve the tablet. These are like Tide Pods. Believe it or not, these are low suds and you can still see the suds. Okay, let's get those jeans. And these are some from work. They're a little bit dirty, but not like the ones that we just put in that I had the dirt on. Put those in there. I'm only going to wash those two together. And fill up with water. And the garden hose. I'm using the garden hose. I just wanted to show you that even though that was just one pod, one drop, it still got a lot of soap suds in it. Whoops. I'm spraying myself. It still got a lot of soap suds in it. That's why you only want to use one drop. That's the suds in one pod. So I'm going to go ahead and let it wash. Put this on standard. Make sure it's on standard. Okay. This one you just put... And I don't know why they put numbers there. This, ignore them. That is not a timer. I don't know how they came up with it. But you can see it washing. There it goes. Now that these are finished, I'm going to put them onto the drain cycle okay now that these are done I'm going to pull them out and put her in put them in the spinner the rest of the process is just like the towels I'm going to go ahead and spin and rinse the next video clip that you see will be of me removing the jeans and we'll see how they washed would they get the dirt out or not let's see Now we're back. This is about to finish spinning. There we go. Gotta wait till it finishes. It'll shut off. There it goes. And there's my jeans. These are the ones with the holes in them. Or hole, actually. And you don't see any dirt. I want to make sure I show a video with both sides going. So I got this blanket that I use in the van. Oh, wash it. Let me get the drops here. Okay. Blanket, water. So we're going to check and make sure that it can run at the same time. This, again, has the jeans in it, like I showed you earlier. Pull that out. Those are my jeans. Put that in there. This really does make a difference. Close. Turn that on. Give it a second to balance. There it goes. Sometimes you have to adjust it yourself. And this, make sure it's on standard. We've talked about that. And then just turn it over to wash. And there it goes. So both of these are washing on the solar power that's going straight to the van.
I don't know if you can see that or not. Walk over to it. There you are. And that's hooked up to our inverter. We come around the other side. And it's hooked up to the inverter right there. Some of you may be asking if you have to use drops in this kind of machine. No, actually you don't. But if you have your own detergent, use that. When you do use your own detergent, only use a little bit. Don't use a full cup. Don't use a full capful. Use like a tablespoon or two tablespoons. Start out small and then adjust as you need to. So I'm back now and this is just about finished. Okay, that's finished. And there we go. Pull this out. Lift this. Oh, wow. I know. That's, it's that's so cool. Almost it's dry. Almost dry. That's crazy. My husband is always shocked by this. Yeah, I, I, I really am. It never gets old. You know what? I'll let you carry this in. So oh, I can hang. Can I please? <laughs> oh boy! Oh can boy. carry the whole laundry basket in. I just sat here and did all these clothes in this little machine. That's neat. And you know what I don't see? Lint. Oh, neat. There's a spot there, but it's it's just reflection. So. Yeah, no lint. And you know what I don't see? Lint. Oh, neat. There's a spot there, but it's it's just reflection. So, yeah, no lint. It's done. I'm going to go hang up my whole laundry basket full of clothes. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you click like. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you out about and online. Be sure you check out my other video on this washing machine link down below. Thank you. Bye.